Hello to everyone and welcome back on my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna add that, an extra touch of style on my custom built 7 inch drone by adding some LEDs. The LEDs I've chosen are the Speedy B material lights. And before we go to the actual build, let's have a look on these LEDs first. There are a few nice features about these LEDs. First of all, the, its length is customizable. If you can see there are small black dots along the wire here, which marks where you can cut the wire so you can make as long or as short as you wish. Then there are preset colors already set, uh, set in, the, in the module and you can choose them just by pressing this button here or since there is a Wi-Fi, uh, Bluetooth, sorry, connectivity on this module, within the first minute you power up the LEDs, you have chance to go on the SpeedyB app and choose the preset color you want straight on the app wirelessly. Uh, and also the preset color are customizable as well. Then, uh, this yellow wire here can be connected on the boot pad on your flight controller so you can press and hold this button to have your flight controller in boot mode and then the last nice feature on this module there are two pads one RX and one TX and you can connect those two wires on uh, free UART on your flight controller and your flight controller can be customizable as well um, on the SpeedyB app wirelessly if your flight controller does not have a Bluetooth connectivity already. So now we can start the build. We waste no more time. I'm gonna open up my drone and we will see in a sec. But what I'm going to do next before to install the LEDs on the drone is to remove this yellow wire as I'm not going to use the bootloader mode. So we do this job first and then we go and try to install this LEDs on the 7 inch. Okay, the yellow wire has been removed. Now I'm going to install the RX and TX wire on the module. Okay, let's jump to the drone. Now at this stage we are ready to install the LEDs on the on the drone. The only space available I have on my drone is around on this area and that's where I'm gonna install it. And before when I was disassembling the drone I've noticed that there's a small gap 
just here between the bottom plate plate and the side plate and I'm pretty sure these wires would go through and if they do it's great because then my idea is to let the the lead start from this arm and then we are gonna cut connect to this side this side here and all of the way at the front and the back that's the plan uh, but we need I need to check if the wires actually go through the bottom side plate first uh, if they do then we can keep on going otherwise we need to find another option let's see I'm gonna check and come back okay good news as you can see the lead wires actually perfectly pass through this small gap over here and this allows us to start from where we planned that's great so we can start to solder the module and go from there then okay now <clears throat> i'm gonna install the rx dx and the power and the ground and after that i'm gonna put the side plates back and remove props and we're gonna start to work with the lights rx3 and tx3 and the ground over here with the v-pad pads okay Okay, just connected the ground and power cable, RX and TX, to then use this module to be able to configure the flight controller via Bluetooth on the SpeedyB app. What I'm gonna do now is to put pretty much everything back, all the cables, the side plates, uh, remove the props, and then we're gonna start to roll these sleds on the drone see you in a second all right here we are I've removed the propellers and also after soldiering the wires before I also checked with the multimeter in continuity mode if there were some shorts or something and nothing appeared so before we attach the leads on the drone's arm let's check it let's plug the drone and see if it works first. Just a quick test. Oh, beautiful. Nice, okay, we can start then. I really really like this set of LEDs very cool and I have uh, in mind a particular light combination to put on anyway I've already counted and let's say each black mark I hope you can see over here let's say each 
black mark is a set of light. So I've already counted to put eight sets on each side of the rear arms. So eight over here, over here, here and here. And five sets on both front arms on the back side and 16 here. So then we are gonna have 16 is 16, 32, 5, 5, 10 is 42, plus 16, it's 58. And already counted this long enough to hold, to have, sorry, 58 sets. I'm gonna have probably one or two sets left. Let's see where we are gonna put that one. And anyway, let's, uh, let's begin. one away from now just make sure before you put the soldering iron on you move the glue away from the pet Okay. okay, we have soldered the first two strips. We checked for some shorts and we have no shorts, so let's try to see if it works. Hopefully, we are not gonna destroy anything. Yes, they do. Just make sure you check for any short with the multimeter before you plug your battery. And so let's avoid some issues. All right, we'll see when I'm done. I've just finished installing the LEDs and that's the result. So I've, add, I've added at eight sets on each rear arms and five on the front ones. And here I said before 16 sets, but actually that's supposed to be 18 to cover the whole length. And that's it. Nice time to test it. up and the LED strip editor. 
and from here we can choose different light combinations and all these light combinations are editable by clicking this icon on the right Now let's check if we can connect the flight controller to the SpeedyB app. Click here. And here we are. In the expert mode. Nice. Thank you for watching and if you enjoy this type of content please consider subscribing thank you and bye bye